Okay, uh, now I'm going to show you how I explore the lateral complex of the ankle. Uh, first of all, put the patient seated or supine, and I ask the patient to flex the knee and slide uh, the, the foot over the table. In this position, the anterior tibiofibular ligament has the same direction as the table, so it's very easy to, to, to seek and to find here. In this position, also, the and uh, anterior inferior tibio fibular ligament has this orientation. The second ligament we, we must search. The third one is the calcaneo cubo dorsal ligament here, over there, and the bifurcate ligament just above this this uh, ligament. Just this is the calcaneo cubo ligament and the bifurcate ligament here. In the anterior side, the anterior recess of the joint and the uh, Telionavicular ligament is here. And the last ligament to search is the calcaneofibular ligament. To find this ligament, we must ask the patient to put the leg over the pillow this way and a, uh, a small internal rotation of the, of the hip. And in this position, we have a good access to the peroneal tendons and the calcaneofibular ligament. Just with this orientation slightly posterior here and in this position it's very easy to perform the dynamic maneuvers of dorsiflexion of the ankle. Okay, so let's start. We place the patient in the position to examine the ankle and remember that the anterior telefibular ligament will be here and we start placing the probe over this position. We touch the fibula and one centimeter above the, the tip of the fibula, we place the probe here. Okay? This is the first image we need to see. The fibula at the left corner and the talus in the right and this fat tissue between these two bones. Once we have a proper location, a proper orientation of the probe, we go down and we will notice this image of a fibular pattern and this is the anterior telefibular ligament. Notice that if we push this side of the probe, we will reach a better image, a nice image, because if we are pushing the rear of the probe, we have anisotropy and sometimes we can uh, think that this is a, an, a, an injured, a mild injured ligament, but this is not. This is a normal ligament. Always take into account that the, the orientation of the pub is very, very important to check this ligament. And there are two fascicles. The superior one is this one. And as we go downwards, we notice this small fascicle here, okay? very subtle in this case, which is the inferior one, just in the tip of the fibula. Okay. Once we have checked this ligament, and notice below the ligament, there's the joint. Okay. This ligament is a reinforcement of the capsule. Then we move the probe 45 degrees upwards, okay, without losing the fibula, and we have in the left the fibula and the right the talus and 45 angle of the probe and as we go upwards the talus disappears and the fibula appears and the tibia sorry appears here with this small ligament here okay Let's have a good orientation here this is the inferior component of the and anterior inferior tibiofibular ligament here. Okay, just here, this is the uh, better view. And as we go upwards, the superior component here. Okay, this is the anterior inferior tibiofibular ligament. Okay, now we are going to check the, calcaneo, the dorsal calcaneocuboid ligament. To do so, we place a probe over the calcaneus till we have a nice view of the cortical here. 
and we move the probe distally till the joint between the calcaneus and the cuboid bone here. At this level, we move slightly upwards the probe till we see this very thin ligament between the calcaneus in the left and the cuboid in the right. This is the dorsal calcaneo cuboid ligament. And if we continue upwards, we'll notice another very subtle ligament here, which is the calcaneo cuboid component of the bifurcate ligament. The muscle above is the pedius muscle. Okay. Now we are going to check the anterior recess and the tailo navicular ligament. We start at the distal tibia. This is the joint between the tibia and the talus. This is the body of the talus, the neck of the talus. Here we will check the anterior recess. If there is an effusion, you will see the fat rejected superficially, okay? And the head of the talus and the navicular bone. As you can notice, between these two bones, there's the talionavicular ligament. Very, uh, very long and with this fascicular pattern. Okay. To assess the calcaneofibular ligament, we will ask the patient to place the, the lower limb over the pillow and we will reach this uh, free access to the lateral side of the angle and it's easier to uh, study these structures. We will place a good amount of gel because of bony contours and we start searching the peroneal tendons just ahead the fibula here is the superior retinaculum and we continue distally and once we check we, we notice the beginning of the calcaneus here between the tendons and the calcaneus we must seek some structure here hypochoic uh, which is the calcaneofibular ligament usually if we ask the patient to dorsiflex the, the ankle, this ligament will become tense and it's easier to see and to uh, assess. But in this case, this patient, the, this ligament has a very, very posterior orientation here. And so it's very difficult to assess dynamically. And in these cases, usually the dynamic maneuvers don't uh, succeed to tense, to, to become the ligament tense. But in this case, uh, what I want you to notice is between the tendons and the calcaneus here, this fibular structure is the calcaneofibular ligament. Sorry, because this is not the best example of this ligament, but patients, patients are real and sometimes this is normal to find. Okay, you can see here the fibular pattern of this ligament and the absence of movement with dorsiflexion here. 